Hey guys, welcome to a video review of the Goodman's Canvas, a portable DAB digital and FM radio. Um, things that you'll already know is that it is out of the box. I didn't do an unboxing because I don't like unboxings. Um, I like to get straight down to the point. First thing I noticed with this product um, is how easy it is to use. Um, it is amazingly simple for uh, a DAB digital radio. I've kind of used some products and I find it's a new pattern and trend line is that people like fancy over the top things um, I don't personally I like big buttons um, and I like to very clear descriptions um, and this is oh don't want to connect to the radio this is one of those products I mean I got it out of the box it's a radio it doesn't need to be complicated even the uh, the kind of how it works the getting started was it's this these two pages which is great um, so, you know, getting it out of the box, getting it into operation, easy as pie. Um, the product itself costs £30, um, which is about right. It's the ballpark at the moment for kind of digital radios. Um, you might be buying this to put in your kitchen. You might be buying this to maybe take to work um, or put in, the, put in an office or something. So they're, they're not supposed to be hugely expensive. Um, it's a radio at the end of the day. Obviously, digital radio has been around for a while, um, and when it did come out at the first point, it was quite expensive, but now it's getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. So as far as uh, the kind of quality, um, I want to talk about firstly the reception. Um, Reception-wise, it is fantastic. Um, I mean, I live in a complete dead spot. Like, I, I don't even get phone signal here. It's like one bar most of the time and uh, this radio picked up most of my stations on digital um, I'd say there were probably a few missing but there were so many that I was happy all the kind of popular ones were there um, so I can't really complain there in terms of the FM it was also great um, I think that's down to this massive antenna on the back that pretty much gets you all the signal you'll ever need in life um, so what else is worth talking about? <clears throat> what makes this special? I think aesthetically and just like looking at the product, it's gorgeous. Um, this comes also in like a slate color um, and it comes uh, in green, although the green's plastic. This is like a metal kind of feel. Um, I think it's metal anyway. It's hard to tell these days. They say a metal finish front panel definitely plastic but you know looking at it it's a nice product I think it's rare these days um, that people kind of make products look nice that aren't actually particularly interesting things it's like oh a radio you can make that look really boring um, but Goodman's they've kind of redesigned um, a lot of their products um, I was reading through some of their mission statements earlier on and trying to get a little bit of a feel for the company um, the bottom line is they're trying to make products that are stylish affordable um, without all the fancy features that sometimes you don't need. Um, I mean, there's a lot of examples of where people have just put stuff in that isn't necessary. Um, I would have maybe liked uh, something like Bluetooth, but for a £30 speaker, I don't really care too much. There is one problem I did have with the product, though. Um, like, it sounds great. Um, there was only some distortion higher into the, um, the audio. Um, we're talking like literally when it was maxed out, you'll kind of hear a bit of... It's just a problem with all small speakers, to be honest. And what I'd actually prefer that companies did was instead of letting us discover that the product doesn't hit 100%, it's just maybe um, dialing it back so 100% is actually 80%. Um, but this really depends on a few things. I mean, if you're 100 meters away from this, you won't hear the distortion as close as sitting next to it. Um, so audio quality was fine, it was nice, it was it was actually how I like my music, it was rich. Um, I wouldn't say again it's like audio file level, but it's a £30 uh, radio at the end of the day. I also liked this little kind of LCD panel, so you can see what you're doing. Uh, so you've got like time and stuff. I've broken it now, haven't I? Um, and you can... You can go through all the stations using this. 
Uh, it's pretty easy to read. And then, you know, if you want to switch to FM, it lets you go through all the, the FMs and does scanning as well, which is quite important in radio, I think, because um, I hate knowing all the channels, so you just let it go and it scans away and away and away. <laughs> so, as a product, it does work as intended. Um, my biggest problem with this is, is if you're going to brand something as portable, um, what I don't like seeing these days is double A batteries. Um, it's not so much that I don't like them. I just feel like I'd pay, I personally would pay 10 pounds more if it was maybe a rechargeable battery. Um, so for instance, instead of using um, this, um, AC, DC plug, whatever you call it, you five volt in, you can simply just use a, a micro kind of USB charger style thing, pump a huge amount of power for it, um, and charge an internal battery at the same time. Um, it's how quite a few products work. Um, so then you could take it out and you wouldn't have to buy batteries over and over and over and over again. But that's like the one thing I dislike about the product. Other than that, it's fantastic, I'd buy it. Um, I think this is a product that I might actually leave in the office um, just for listening to uh, music while I'm maybe building computers and stuff because um, it looks cool at the end of the day as well. Um, so yeah, top marks. I think I'll be giving this a 4 for performance, um, a 4 for design, I want to say, and a 4.5 for value. Is it 4.5? Yeah, it will be a 4.5 value. He says quickly checking his review. Yeah, it's a 4.5 for value, because um, at the end of the day, I think it's a gorgeous product. Um, there's some products on the market that are the same price and they just don't look anywhere near as cool. Um, I also, uh, the performance is great, apart from again, the niggle with the audio. But what I look for in products is overall kind of, yeah, you're getting quite a bit for your money there. Um, Obviously, you might be able to find stuff that sounds better, but it might not look as good. Um, but it ticks all the boxes, um, and it's a product I can recommend here at Player.net. So, I hope you enjoyed the review, um, and if you have any questions about the product, just ping us an email, or, I don't know, drop us a message on Facebook. 